I'm Justin Gerlach, Director of Studies for Biology at Peterhouse, Cambridge. One of my research areas is the evolution and ecology of giant tortoises. And in this video abstract for our article in Current Biology, we will be describing a remarkable observation made by my co-author, Anna Zora, Conservation Manager of Frigate Island in Seychelles. This observation is of a giant tortoise deliberately hunting, killing and eating a bird. This is the first time that this surprising event has been recorded on video, although it has been witnessed several times on the island. Although in prehistoric times giant tortoises were very widespread, today they are associated with only two places, the Galapagos and the Seychelles Islands. On the islands where they do still exist, they are the most significant herbivores, effectively the island's equivalent of elephants. They are big animals, and where large populations exist, they have major impacts on the vegetation. They also play important roles in dispersing seeds, trampling vegetation, digging out mud wallows and even eroding rocks. There are very few places left in the world where they still play these roles. One of the largest populations of Seychelles giant tortoises is on Frigate Island, a private island managed for conservation and ecotourism. Having been run as a plantation for over a hundred years, it's now being restored. There are around 3,000 giant tortoises living in the island's forests. And, having been absent for many decades, seabirds have recently recolonised the recovering forests. The main species of seabird on the island is the lesser noddy, with some 10,000 pairs nesting in one colony. Many of the tortoises spend their time in the tern colony, and at the end of a long day's counting of turns, Anna Zora witnessed something totally unexpected. So in, uh, the, on the 30th of July 2020, myself, Anna Zora, uh, Callum Waldi and uh, Jake Haber, we were roaming in this area and we were busy censusing uh, our fairy turn population at the time. Um, we came past this area and we noticed a tortoise, one of our giant tortoises, a medium-sized um, tortoise and a bird sitting on a log and uh, I really remember very clearly saying to the guys guys this tortoise is acting strange let's have a look so what uh, I think attracted my attention was really the behavior of the of the tortoise so this tortoise was not just roaming around and, and feeding but it was just looking at this cheek noddy cheek less than noddy cheek and it was pointing at it um, and then it started going towards that chick and that it's really at that point that I said to Callum and, and Jake that we should have stopped and have a look at what was happening so we did, we stopped and uh, I started recording because uh, I thought maybe something interesting is going to happen and, um, and then I saw these torches literally going towards this chick like pointing, looking at it, at it and just going towards it. Until when the tortoise reached the, um, the log where the, the chick was sitting on and then he started trying to, uh, to attack the chick. So I remember clearly also Callum say, oh no, we need to save the chick. And I remember saying to them, guys, I've never heard of something like that in nature. So I think we should have a look at it and see what happened. And, and so we did. So we sat and looked what happened. And uh, in the video that we recorded, we managed to really capture um, a clearly active uh, tortoise at hunting for a, a noddy, let's say noddy chick on Frigate Island. Although this is the only video of such a kill, this was not a one-off event. Other tortoises have been seen doing the same thing in this area. A number of people have reported seeing tortoises killing and eating other animals before, but it's never been properly documented, and it's been impossible to tell if this was a deliberate hunting or just the animal opportunistically taking advantage of a piece of extra protein. What we report is clearly hunting. On frigate, several tortoises have been seen catching turn chicks. This seems to be a new pattern of behaviour that's developed as the terns have recolonised the island. The conservation work that's done in places like Frigate 
is important for the species that live in these areas. Less obviously, restoring ecology or rewilding restores species interactions and behaviours that may have existed long ago but have been impossible for hundreds of years.